Hi Spanish learners! Welcome to another episode of Spanish Academy TV, where we step up your game and take your Spanish skills to the next level. Today, we'll be talking about 10 spooky cultural legends from Spanish-speaking countries. We'll explore Latin American folk tales that are called leyendas. Some are spooky and some are just plain weird. So gather around and join me in exploring some of the strangest cultural legends from Spanish-speaking countries. But before we begin our exciting storytelling experience, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. Follow these quick, simple steps so you can stay up to date with the best Spanish content available online. Just like, subscribe, and bell button. It's that easy. Now let's get started with our thrilling collection of 10 spooky cultural legends from Spanish-speaking countries. Everybody loves a good old-fashioned ghost story. And in Spanish-speaking countries, these ghoulish legends, which are a blend of Spanish and indigenous storytelling, are a part of family upbringing. Are you ready? 1. Los Aluches According to the Mexican Mayan culture, Aluches live in fields and protect crops. They look like little children who wear sandals, hats, and walk through the fields with their dogs. Some people believe Aluches bring fortune, but only if you're on their good side. If you don't pay your dues to the Aluches, their mischievous deviance may provoke them to make you ill. So according to legend, how do you get on their good side? By building them a tiny house or leaving them sweets and yummy foods. Two, the carriage of death. The Guatemalan myth of El Carruaje de la Muerte tells the story of a black chariot led by black horses, fiery red eyes. The chariot wanders around Guatemala City, taking the souls of dying people. Those who've seen it claim the driver is dressed in black and can make you pass out with a simple gaze. How creepy is that? 3. La Tatuana this Guatemalan folktale from Antigua tells the myth of a powerful witch named La Tatuana. She was a slave to an old warlock during the Spanish Inquisition. Her master tattooed a small ship on her arm, advising her to keep it in mind if she ever got in trouble. Like he predicted, she was imprisoned after being accused of witchcraft and sentenced to death. On the day of her execution, she requested a piece of coal, candles, and white roses. She made an altar with the items and drew a replica of her tattoo on the wall. It's believed she boarded the tiny ship on the wall and disappeared, making an epic and unexpected escape. 4. El Cadejo This popular myth is told throughout Central America and Mexico. El Cadejo is believed to be an evil, woolly black dog with red eyes and goat hooves. He clings to drifters and prevents them from improving their life situation. While he can't be seen, the victims he haunts can feel his presence, and some say he leaves a rotten smell in his wake. You're probably wondering how a person can escape this awful character. The answer is the heroic natural enemy of El Cadejo, the White Cadejo. This creature is the complete opposite of the Cadejo Negro. He takes care of women and children in the streets and goes to battle with his enemy when they cross paths. 5. The Girl in Black La Niña de Negro is rumored to appear around the Guatemala City Cathedral in the city central. Nobody knows who she is or what she's looking for, but people notice she looks worried and, and anguished. Those who tell the tale say she'll offer you a gold chain and a piece of paper with her address. To top it off, legend says anyone who accepts her gift will go crazy because her directions lead to Guatemala City's cemetery. 
feeling spooked yet? I'm certainly intrigued about these stories to come. But before we continue, did you know you can join us for a free Spanish class with certified native teachers from Guatemala? Go to www.spanish.academy slash free dash class or click here. We love spoiling you here at Homeschool Spanish Academy, so no payments are required. We want to give you the opportunity to improve your Spanish skills and what better way to do it than with a free class? Now back to our stories and creepy myths. 6. El Mohan One of the popular myths of Colombia is the legend of El Mohan. This entity materializes into a large, hairy creature, similar to Bigfoot. He also appears as a long-haired, robust man with golden skin. He lives near rivers and is known to collect jewelry he uses to lure and kidnap women. Myths say he also challenges fishermen, scaring away their catch and drowning anyone who crosses him. Luckily, you can send him away. People believe salt turns him into a statue. 7. El Chupacabras El Chupacabras is believed to resemble a blood-sucking, tall, reptile-like creature with red eyes and sharp quills on its spine. His first sighting was reported in Puerto Rico in 1995 when dead livestock was found by a local woman. Punctured wounds suggested their blood was sucked out of their bodies. After the incident in Puerto Rico, Sightings were reported throughout the Caribbean and other countries. Although many deny his existence, appearances began surfacing again in 2018 and 2019. 8. La Ciguanaba Also known as La Cegua, her story is a major part of Central American myths. She's believed to look like a long-haired, beautiful woman who appears in isolated roads and ravines. She manifests to passerbyers and lures them to a cliff where she pushes them off to their doom. Other myths say La Ciguanaba appears close to bodies of waters, but when her victims finally get a closer look, she has the face of a terrifying, wrinkly horse with red eyes who laughs maniacally. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't like to cross her path. 9. El Sombrerón According to myths, El Sombrerón is a short man who wears a massive hat to cover his face. He roams the streets of Antigua with a large guitar he uses to serenade long-haired young women, ultimately making them fall under his love spell. This is not your typical love story, as El Sombrerón haunts them and keeps them from eating and sleeping. He has a thing for tightly braiding his victim's hair in their sleep, leaving the women with no other option than to cut their hair short and send him away. 10. La Llorona La Llorona is known in English as a wailing woman who spends her evenings crying and screaming desperately for her kids. The Guatemalan legend says, along with her late husband and the father of her children, La Llorona enjoyed a life of excessive luxury. After her husband died, he left her a penniless widow who, with no means of support, went mad and drowned her kids in a river. To this day, Guatemalans claim to hear her spirit looking for her children and screaming, MIS HIJOS! Stories say if you hear her cries close to you, it's because she's actually far. Now, if you can hear her cries far away, she's even closer to you than you think. This is just a preview of the many fascinating and creepy myths you'll discover in the Spanish-speaking world. As these stories continue to be passed from generation to generation, they continue to evolve, leading to new versions and adaptations like feature films, novels, and books. I hope you've enjoyed these stories and they don't keep you up all night. Would you like to explore more stories in Spanish? Download our free ebook, Weird and Wacky Spanish Stories for Beginners. While the stories aren't myths, they're definitely weird, fascinating, and fun. It's perfect for kids and adults who wish to improve their Spanish fluency through reading. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
leave a like, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for all Spanish learning updates. Hasta pronto!